Hi everyone, today is Monday the 15th. My name is Anne-Marie Band and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro Platform. As many of you know, the trade oil, uh, oil tends to run down to the 30s, up to the 70s. If it goes to the 70s and holds, it breaks out to the next 30. Now that is not always true. Obviously you see it stopping at the 15 marker here. And this edge at the 85-30ish zone where it bounced the last time. All right. And so if we get above this 8530 today, we're likely to move up into, you know, 86 again. But this is a reversion to the mean play. And I expect the price of oil to come down into this 8320. That's the range support. Currently, key support lines are down near 80. But this S-curve test, for those of you that have been trading with me a long time, you know, I believe this is what this chart is in the midst of. It's a technical play. I know a lot of folks talk about oil being very news sensitive, and indeed it is. But what we really have to think about is relative to broad motion, what is the news doing? Because charts are going to go where they're going to go, and news is either going to help them get there quickly and then revert to the mean or uh, fade down and then revert to the mean. So these are all the combinations that we are looking at right now. It is a little bit bearish, but traders are coming in at that 84.30 and bouncing today. So this is a clear by the dip formation relative to this motion. And we're going to see how it does getting into 85.24. I do want to create another alert here because I'm going to delete the alert that is sitting prior to this uh, one that we had just breakthrough, right? So that's that's what we're staring down. We can see that 84.30 to 84.70 is the heavy congestion zone. Pullbacks into that zone, that bounce, going to give us a buy the dip formation this morning, but only into resistance, as I do believe that oil is simply fading off into the support zone. We can see the uh, double stochastic doing the same thing. If you have an RSI, it's going to look almost identical. That's what we're staring down. Our levels remain the same from a broad path. Okay, let's take a look at gold, something else that's on the run. For those of you that have listened to me in Strategy Lab on uh, Top Step TV, we know that this is in a key uh, blow-off top space. It is running. Um, it's, it's running because of a lot of different things, but it's a good fade area into support. Notice these higher lows, right? But we are sitting in the midst of an inside candlestick. So I'm going to remove this alert here and also this line. And I'm going to, hello. I'm going to remove, an, I'm going to put another line up here that gives us a potential breakaway formation. I'm going to put another alert up here for those that trade gold. We know that that's going to be a key zone that's going to bring players into the game. Right? A lot of people taking profit here, and that is natural. Now, they're taking profit, but it is still a buy the dip formation. You know, my key support line is well below this. And so, you know, does it mean that the key support moves up to 23 and some change? Yes, I do believe that we need to adjust that number, 23.34. And of course, we know that uh, gold can get a little noisy down in these patches. And so we really want to watch for the congestion area that makes for a good play long. My thought is, as long as it's inside this candle, it's going to be uh, a little hit and miss. Okay, key support action they're trying to hold at this 2350 area, but the bounces have some resistance at 2375. These are the levels that I am watching currently, right? So are we in a buy the dip formation? Yes. Do we want to look for these lower dips to participate? Yes. Okay. That's where we would look for that. And then of course you collapse into that 15 minute or 30 minute chart. Wow. Is that Morse code or what? Not a lot of uh, participation in here. And I think that's big money waiting for deeper price action. Let's go to the futures. All right. Taking a look, we are still in a neutral state. By the dip has been the range base. Let me uh, 
clone this line and take a look at what we have going on, right? Same trajectory by the dip. 30, you know what? Let's change this to, uh, bu, 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 bu. let's change this to 34. Give it a little bit more room since it's an exponential, but we can still see, right? We're sitting in a by the dip formation. Don't listen to the news, folks. You've got to watch the charts. That's the key zone here. We have broken a key support line. And so the trick today is, can we recover it? We triggered once. Let's see if we trigger again. If we trigger again, folks, we're looking at this top edge at 52.47, 52.49, something like that, that tells us that we've got price action that is likely to bounce. This is by the dip. I think a lot of sellers are caught flat-footed because they listen to the news, all right? And uh, we want to watch price. We don't want to listen to the news. Well, I mean, is that it's true by and large, okay? All right, taking a look at the NQ coming up, we just triggered this. Take a look, the series of higher lows here. We are inside of this candle. This could make for a really messy patch, but what we are looking for is the recovery of that line um, let me remove this alert. Also, we want to look at this line again, see if we can trigger it through. If we get up above there, we know we've got ourselves some kind of upside pressure. My thought is this, if we can break through 18,325 and hold there, we're going to 387, right? This is an absolute by the dip formation and it could be pretty savage because we've got sellers on the back foot, all right? So that really is what we are watching for, this by the dip formation. If we break the low or we reject this area at 321, we are going to have ourselves a fade into our lower levels, and that's going to be heavy congestion. My thought is, you know, pre-market low, always very important, but this thing is building a Marabozu candlestick right off of the 150 line, and that, uh, it's going to be a big deal. Okay, so we want to watch for that as well. It is a buy the dip, but pay attention to the risk. Don't say, hey, it's buy the dip, let me double down. Just get out and trade later, all right? Today is going to be a day where we really need to follow our news. News is going to, oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at a weekly formation because this has broken down hard, right? This has broken down really, really hard. I suspect that the dips are still going to be buy zones, but here's the problem. All right, let me remove this alert. We've got a floor here that we need to watch. And that floor is going to be the low of the pre-market going to be a buy zone, but here's the thing. This is a sell the bounce event. So if it gets into this area where we're looking at 650, eh, let's make that 720 and we'll see what we can do at this event. All right. It is still by the dip. And as I mentioned, a lot of sellers getting caught flat footed, which makes this buy zone particularly strong into the resistance edges. Let's also take a look at the RTY, who is moving, who that is moving, uh, off of this key support line. Holy cow, it came down into the 2000s and did not break that overall region. This is a sell the bounce event here, but the bounce could be big. So early parts of the morning, it will be by the dip until we get to the resistance zone. Notice how hard it rejected this area, but again, we are inside of Friday's motion. We could completely retrace it. That's what we've been doing in times past. Let's take a look at SPY. Same sort of thing. Look at all these, just fantastic. Now SPY, indeed, inside of the candle formation, gapped up dramatically, faded a wee bit, but then started running again. 
This is my premise that the shorts are caught flat footed. And so we expect them to potentially run into this area. Listen, if the shorts being caught flat footed cannot get up over this edges, these edges, it's going to be another sell the bounce event. But I think we're getting into sideways patterns once again. All right, let's take a quick look before we go to the cues. Let's see. Uh, today's the 15th. We've got rental sales, Empire State, whoops, and uh, business inventories, housing market. Uh, may or may not move the market. All right. I think we're in a news based cycle. So we're going to see what happens there. Next is the queues. Same sort of thing inside candlestick. Sellers caught flat footed. Look, look at them run up the flagpole here. This is the edge 438.72 breakdown formation. So they're buying off of that edge. We expect them to run into 443 and maybe even 445 today. Okay, that is key to watch. All right, folks, that's it. Remember, when you come into your levels, that's when you break down the motion. You look for the resistance and the failure to head higher. And then once you see that failure to head higher, I like to do it on a 15 minute, then you sort of say, all right, let's see what's going on. Right now you can see the volatility bands expanding to the upside, making it a buy the dip formation across the board for all of our charts. Once it breaks support, however, step aside, take your small loss if it's sitting there and then say, you know what? Uh, I'm going to reset right here. Right now, this is buy the dip, take profit at the top of the edges, lower edge of the, of, uh, the first standard deviation gives us a really nice breakout pattern. Could we be building a megaphone today? Maybe, but right now it is buy the dip. Good luck trading today, everyone, and I'll see you on the platforms.